Well, everybody, it's been quite a long time since I did a Let's Tackle video, and the last time I did that was a Top 10 video. Well, since it's been a quite a long time since I did one, I figured why not get back into doing Let's Tackle. And I figured what better way to start off by doing another marathon, and since it's the 25th anniversary of a particular hedgehog, I figured why not do this marathon around him. Anyway, folks, let's get started with the new Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon. Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the most popular gaming characters of all time, made to rival Mario in the early 90s. I suppose I should probably start with how I actually got introduced to Sonic. It all began in 2002. I owned the GameCube, I loved this thing, and most of the games I of course had for the system was Mario games. I kept asking my parents to give me Mario games for the GameCube, and they got so sick of getting the same kind of franchise over and over again. So they decided to get me something completely new, something I wasn't familiar with. The Sonic Mega Collection was how I was introduced to Sonic the Hedgehog, and boy, people, I still own this game even to this day. When I played this game as a kid, I loved it. I loved playing all of the different Sonic games. And ever since then, I've been getting more and more Sonic games because I started to become a fan of the franchise. I got the Sonic Gems Collection, which I'm also going to be reviewing Sonic CD for. I got Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Heroes, and even Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. But for this marathon, we're going to be taking a look at the classic Genesis games, and as I said, I'm also going to be reviewing Sonic CD, which was released around the same time the Genesis games were made. Well, let's get started. The plot in this game is really simple. You have to control Sonic the Hedgehog through 19 different levels and stop the evil Dr. Robotnik from kidnapping all of the animals and taking over the world. Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, is a traditional 2D platformer where, of course, you have to avoid obstacles and make it to the end of the level. But unlike Mario, Sonic has one thing on his side. Speed. It's all about building speed in this game, and if you're gonna build up speed in this game, you're gonna need the right angles and the right skill. This is one of the most defining things about the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Being a 2D platformer, Sonic has pretty much everything you expect from a 2D platformer. There's obstacles to avoid, and of course you have to make it to the end of the level. But there's also power-ups to pick up as well. But even though Sonic is really, really fast, he still controls really, really well. Of course, Sonic has a floatier jump, which is kind of like Super Mario Bros. 3, but with speed on his side, some levels can be beaten within seconds. There's a shield, which grants Sonic an extra hit, and there's invincibility, which of course lets Sonic be invincible. Scattered throughout each level are rings, and trust me, you're gonna need these rings to survive. What do I mean by that? Well, if Sonic gets hit with zero rings, he loses a life. If you have at least one ring, Sonic can take an extra hit. So that shield power-up was basically an extra, extra hit, I guess. But unfortunately, if you get hit, you'll lose all your rings. So if you have like 100 rings on your side, which also gets you an extra life, Sonic will lose every single one of them. And trust me, you're going to need those rings if you're going to survive. Because some levels have a lot of enemies and a lot of obstacles to avoid. As for the graphics in this game, they look pretty nice for a Genesis game. It's not the best looking Genesis game I've ever seen, but you know what? For the early 90s, this was pretty good stuff. It's right up there with Super Mario World. And at the end of the third zone, you have to face Dr. Robotnik, who uses many kinds of inventions to take out Sonic. Most of the time, the boss fights are kind of easy, but some of them can actually be quite challenging. If you get at least 50 rings and reach the end of the stage, there's this giant ring that you can jump into, and here we're introduced to special stages. Oh my god, look at this thing. Seriously, is this what it looks like when you're on an acid trip? Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Dude, major acid trip. If you complete a special stage, you'll get one of six Chaos Emeralds, and if you want to get a better ending, well, then you have to collect all the Chaos Emeralds. It's not a huge difference, though, but it's nice, I guess. I know later games have seven Chaos Emeralds, and this is the only game that has six Chaos Emeralds, but then again, it's the first game, it, it, it doesn't really matter. As for the music, wow. This soundtrack is really memorable. Even to this day, I still find myself humming most of the songs. And I'm sure plenty of people who haven't played Sonic the Hedgehog will most likely know most of the tracks in this game. Most of the tracks in this game are really catchy to listen to, but some tracks also sound quite intimidating. Oh crap. Crap. Phew, that was close. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring up the fact that Sonic can't actually swim. And the water levels in this game are really, really intense. 
Trust me, you don't want to drown, because if you do, well, you lose a life, obviously. So for the first game in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, what more can I say? Well, I guess I'll say this. It's not perfect by any means, and it's certainly not my favorite Sonic game of all time, but honestly, for the first game in the franchise, it does a really, really good job. It introduced one of the most defining characters in video game history, and I'm sure plenty of people still play it to this day. Hell, even I'll still play this game to this day. If you've never played Sonic the Hedgehog before, give it a try. You might end up enjoying it. I'll give this game an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely recommend checking this game out if you haven't before. You might just end up becoming a fan like I did. But hold on folks, I'm not quite done yet. There's one more Sonic game I want to review for this particular video, since both of these games are quite similar, and because I don't want to make this video that short. So, we're now going to take a look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which came out one year after the first one. Since the first game sold so well, it only makes sense for Sega to do another Sonic game. In terms of plot, well, it's pretty much the same as the first game, so no big surprise there. Sonic 2 brings back most of the features that Sonic was known for in the first game. The colors are a little bit brighter, there are more areas to explore, and I will admit the game is still fun to play. However, unlike the first game, instead of three zones, some levels only contain two zones. So... I guess that kind of makes the game shorter? Well, I suppose not, there's still more levels to explore, so... Yeah. In this game, we're introduced to one of Sonic's many trademark moves, the Spin Dash. Sonic didn't have the Spin Dash in the first game, but in this game, when you use it, it works really, really well. If you hold down while pressing the A button, Sonic will do a Spin Dash. If you let go, Sonic will end up rolling straight through stuff. This is really useful, especially if you want to build up speed really quickly. But one of the biggest additions to this game is Sonic's best friend. Miles Tails Prower. Yeah, that's his full name. I think I'm just gonna stick to calling him Tails. Tails is Sonic's sidekick in this game, and throughout the game, Tails will constantly assist Sonic in his adventure. And he is also invincible. Yeah, if Tails dies, he'll just come right back into the level. He doesn't have lives, he's pretty much a god. I wish I was a god. What's really cool about Tails, though, is that if you plug in a second controller, you can actually control Tails in the main adventure. That's pretty cool. The challenge in this game is also pretty high as well. The boss fights still return, there are still more enemies to defeat, especially a really frustrating one. And the levels are quite long sometimes, but hey, it doesn't drag out too long. I still have plenty of fun with this game. Just like the first game, there are special stages to enter, but instead of jumping through a giant ring, you have to collect 50 rings and instead enter a checkpoint. Then you're brought to the special stage. Not really sure why they took out the giant ring, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Unlike the first game, these ones actually require you to collect a lot of rings before you reach the end. If you don't get enough rings, then you don't get a Chaos Emerald. And in this game, there are actually seven. But one of the cool things about the Chaos Emeralds is that if you get all seven, you're introduced to one of the coolest additions to this game. Super Sonic. If you have at least 50 rings and jump, Sonic will transform into Super Sonic. Super Sonic is awesome. He can run faster, he can jump higher, and he's invincible to anything. Well, except for being crushed and drowning. As I mentioned before, if you plug in the second controller, you can control Tails in the main adventure. But there's actually a two-player mode where you have to race each other to the end. These are a nice distraction, but I think I'd just stick with the main adventure. Plus, some other Sonic games would actually have better multiplayer than this game. This is a lot of people's favorite Sonic game, and you know what? I can't blame them. This game is awesome to play, and I still play this game a ton to this day. It still has many of the things that I love about a traditional Sonic game, and the new additions just make the game even better. I'll give this game a 9.0 out of 10. If you loved the first game, you're sure as hell gonna love this one. And folks, that about wraps things up for the first video in the Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon. Join me in the next video when we take a look at Sonic CD, the only Sonic game to be released for the Sega CD. Thanks for watching this video, and take care.